Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Uh, it's Diz here, um, Every Nation Youth um, Leader. And um, guys, I miss you guys so much. I just wanted to say, welcome back. Um, we're going to have such a, a cool time being back. And I just wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm doing. And I want to ask you guys, how are you doing? Um, from me, number one, I am married. Look at that dab. Cool, cool. And um, it's just been such an amazing season. And looking forward to what's ahead for myself and Camilla um, in this yeah, in this weird time. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to ask you guys, how are you guys doing? Um, how are you guys actually processing this season? Some of you guys are not going to school. Some of you guys never went to school because you're homeschool, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see how you guys are doing. And I wanted to actually encourage you guys today. Um, I have such a cool scripture here, and it's from John 16, verse 33, and this is Jesus talking, and he says here, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Now, the first thing that happens when we get into a situation that we're in now, like the world is 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 facing a, a pandemic virus and um, there's so much uncertainty and there's so much imbalance in what we used to and the first thing that wants to grip us is fear and fear usually comes from not knowing like what what is happening fear comes from not having control of what is happening and i know that some of us are facing this fear but i just wanted to encourage you guys with the scripture now is that jesus the creator of everything and the sustainer of everything is, is, is talking to us here and he's saying, hold up, wait. Actually, he's saying these words to us so that we may find peace in him. And these words are, take heart, which means have courage because he has overcome the world now some of you guys may be in a space of just being uncertain what is the future gonna look like what is tomorrow look like I don't even know but the one thing that we can be sure about is that Jesus the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords has overcome the world and within those words we find peace not in the world but in him you see I want to encourage us again that just because we are in the world, does that mean that we are of the world? You see, we have been bought with a high price. And that includes us actually taking refuge in Jesus in times of need, in times of desperation, in times of uncertainty. Here he is saying, take heart, because he has already overcome the world. You see, we have the privilege of living a life from victory because Jesus has obtained that victory so so awesome so so awesome that we get to walk a journey where we can have peace and where we can feel safe because of who Jesus is so I want to encourage you guys take heart because he has overcome the world wherever you are right now um, or if you have time I just want you guys to actually take a minute take a minute and think about who Jesus is. I think the number one problem of why sometimes we don't trust God is because we don't know God. And I want us to actually take some time to actually say, Jesus, show me who you are. Show me how big you are. You see, this week is actually a special week as we go in, 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 into the, the death and the resurrection of our Christ Lord Jesus is. Um, and it's so cool that actually when we sit back and we start to think, wow, my God is an overcomer. Wow, my God is the resurrected king. My God holds everything. All of a sudden, your trust just starts to, to, to elevate and your faith just starts, to, starts stirring up inside of you because now your perspective fuels your faith. Amen. So in this time, I want us to just take some time, um, a minute or two, and, and ask God to show you how big He is 
to us. Amen? Cool, cool. Um, yeah. And I just wanted to update you guys that we're going to be going into a cool schedule. Cool, cool. We're going to be starting some new things. And we're going to be doing some old things, but just differently too. So, number one. On Wednesdays, I'll be sending you guys this devotion. <sighs> Alright? And then, on Thursdays, we'll be having Connect group i don't know why i did that but we'll be having connect groups online and um, some more information will be shared on the platforms but it's just a time for us to engage and to see each other and also to have fun guys i haven't seen you guys in a while we haven't played uno we haven't played any games damn um and also on friday we'll be having friday night youth on an online platform which will be communicated to you all right um, but with all of that, I just wanted to say to you guys, I miss you and take heart for he has overcome the world. Cool. I don't know why I did that. Cheers, guys.